Okay, we're going to talk about lag. Lag is one of those things that's, that's, that's hard to quantify, but you see it in Sergio Garcia's swing and Hogan's swing. And I had a really good friend today really show me an unbelievable tip on how to create lag. So I'm going to show it to you real quick here. And I'm going to give you a little video that I hit on the range today left-handed. But um, as we get older, it's hard, it's hard to flex. So simple as this. This is how we should teach every kid that's learning how to play golf. We're going to basically interlock these two fingers here. The right-handed golfer, I'm going to take this left thumb and put it over here, interlock. So I'm basically holding on. It's basically a baseball swing, except I'm interlocking these, interlocking the left index and the right pinky. Hang on to the club here. And just simply by anatomically, it, I don't know how it works, but it works. So you just make some swings or you take it back. You get the feel of that club lagging this way. That's kind of Hogan S or Sergio S. So a normal swing, I can't do it right now, but over time, I keep working on it. I'm gonna create some lag. So once again. So once again, take the baseball grip. This left thumb is wrapped around like this. Interlock the right index and the left, the right pinky and the left index. Just make a couple swings. Feel that lag.